So hello everybody, Driven by Mars 20.3 is out and I waited my way through all the new API possibilities of Bitwig 5 and it's now in all the devices I support and as you see the list is pretty long of all the modifications I had to make to give you these new features. So it's basically three new things. First one is Sense on Sense, which was a feature already introduced in a Bitwig 4 series, but now it's also supported by the API. So we will have a look at that in a second. And the other new features are that we have now this new remote controls in Bitwig to control project-wide remote controls as well as per track, which we will also have a look in a second. I will not show everything. I will show it here on the push to give you an idea how that works. But in the manual, it's all documented nicely which buttons you have to press to access these features on your specific device. One word for the Reaper users. So also for Reaper users, this brings a benefit because it's more clearer now. We before had the user parameters control the track FX. So that's basically now the same in both doors. And since there is no project wide parameters in Reaper, I use now the track FX parameters of the master track. Also one comment about user parameters. So user parameters were some kind of the black sheep of the family and they did not really fit the new concepts of the later Bitwig versions. So these are supposed to be gone in an upcoming version and they are totally replaced with the project parameters, which more nicely fit into the concept of Bitwig. So let's have a look first at the sense. You have now sense on sense. Let's switch to the mix view that we can see all the sense and let's close that down. So we see here the delay and you see it can also have a feedback on itself. So send on the send is possible. And we can do this here on the push. If we switch it to the send channels, you see also the send channels have now the FX send as well. And we can turn that up over here and you see it's also moving in Bitwig. So you can control this now also nicely from your controller. But coming to the project and track remote controls, you have now here these project wide controls which show up in each and every track you select. Let's go back to here and let's show again the track device view. So you have first the remote controls project wide. So if I switch the tracks, this is the same thing of pages you can create for your whole project. And you can also show that up here on the right hand side. If you don't want to keep that open, you can close it down and have it here all the time as well. And the same is true for the track FX. So you can collect in that one parameters. For example, here I have a polysynth and a delay and I collected here in this track view some parameters of these two devices. They also don't have to be filled all of them. You can just pick the ones you like and you are after. On the device here on the push, it works like this. I put this in the previous user mode. So press the user button and you will get access to these two elements. So we are right now in the project mode. You can toggle here then to the track mode. So this is the selected track, which you see also here. And you can simply change them as well. Where do we have on here? We are here and these as well. And it works also now with these other options, for example, that you can reset them by holding the delete button. So this is also now improved feature instead of using the old user parameters. So that's basically about it. Nice and very helpful feature and it improves, especially in a live context, a lot of what you can do with your control and device and simply go here to the user to access it. And as I said, it works also with all other common devices like the Launchpad machine, the Mackey control protocol is also in there, the APC40. So you can use this on your live terms and your live gigging. I hope you like it, dig it, and until next time, make some funky music.